Welcome to another Fallout hosting tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to go over on how to upload your own custom mod pack. You need to go to mcp.fallout-hosting.com. You need to select the server that you want. In this case, we're going to custom mod pack tutorial. And you will need to go down to the event settings. Look for jars in server base directory and then click save. Now go to files, FTP file access, and take note of the FTP address, port, and username. Now open up an FTP program. We recommend using FileZilla. Now you need to enter in the information. We are copying and pasting. Make sure that you get rid of any blank spaces. Enter in the password you used to log into Multicraft and enter in the port. Now, since the mod packs generate their own custom world, it is recommended that you delete the world folder. Now go to your downloaded mod pack or your own built mod pack and upload the files. You can do that just by dragging and dropping right into the files in the client. Allow overwrite for the entire queue. The upload may take some time depending on the size of the mod pack and your internet upload speed. If your bar pack has the start bat and start SH, delete those files as Multicraft will not need them. Make sure that every mod pack you upload has a folder called libraries and that it is populated. Without it, things will not run correctly. As you can see, if you look down, you see stuff uploading to the library's folder. Again, I urge you that libraries is an important folder when uploading a mod pack. Without that folder, your mod pack will refuse to run.
And again, it will take some time to upload a mod pack custom as the time depends on the size of the mod pack and the speed of your internet. You can check what your internet speed is by going to speedtest.net. Okay, now that our files are fully uploaded, we can now close out the FileZilla client, close out our folder for our mod packs, and let's head back to the main panel. We need to go down to the jar file and on the second box, type in the name of the jar that you want to launch. In this case, for this mod pack, it was forge.jar. Click save. And let's go to the console and start the server. Some errors are going to show up with Forge, that's just the nature of Forge mods. So while it's loading, let's take this time to open up Minecraft and launch our Forge install. As you can see, our server is up and running. Click join and make sure you can connect to it successfully. And that's how you upload and install a customized mod pack that we don't have in our mod pack installer.